And in my playbook tonight, well, with Republicans in charge of the House, folks get ready for a slew of investigations. I think they're going to try to impeach the president. Notice how they're not taking it off the table. Joining me now is Congressman Anthony Weiner of New York. Congressman uh, Daryl Issa is out there talking about investigations and subpoenas. How does that reach your desk? What do you think? Well, I, I don't mind oversight. I think we didn't do enough oversight when the Republicans were in charge during the Bush years, and I think oversight is fine. The problem is it seems like it's a substitute for an agenda on what they want to do when they grow up. You know, at a certain point, they have to say what laws they want to pass. They can't just say who they're going to investigate and what they're against. They're going to need an agenda, and frankly, they ran a campaign that was pretty devoid of one. I think they can investigate all they want. It's not going to paper over the fact that they still need to stand up and say what they believe and how it solves our nation's problems. And, Congressman, what is the definition of, of compromise these days? Well, I have no idea. You know, traditionally, compromise is two people have a different position on solving a problem, and you reap the middle somewhere. The, the campaign that was just run was completely devoid of any affirmative agenda going forward. I know what they're against. Believe me, I know what they're against. They're against health care. They're against financial reform. They're against Social Security and Medicare. I get that. But in order to compromise, a lot of people are saying to me, you're going to compromise with the Republicans now. I need to know what they believe and what they want to do going forward for the next two years. You know, you can't vote. Uh, you can't just have, have votes on, on overturning that health care bill every week and go home. Sooner or later, they have to say what they're for. What's your advice to the president in dealing with people that are trying to take him down and a liberal base that is somewhat frustrated that there's not enough fight coming out of the White House. Well, the first thing I'd say is in dealing with the Republicans, you know, let them show some cards here. You know, yeah. they've, developed, they've become very good at, you know, the, the LBJ once said that it takes a great man to build a barn, but any jackass can kick one down. I think, you know, for a year, for the last two years, we've been trying to build up this economy, and the Republicans have been very successful politically just kicking it down. That's got to change, and one way it's got to change is we've got to say the president should say to them, let's see what you're offering.